Well, let me see here. Hello, everybody. I think we're here. I hope we're here. I hope we're on. Are we on? I have to check. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, it it's not live on, on Facebook. Okay, let me just make sure uh, because we have all these uh, different things. I'm doing this all by myself, you know. Uh, but this is our, um, oh, here we go. Yeah, we're on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is our, uh, this is our Monday program. And uh, we do this every, every Monday. Uh, and uh, uh, hope that you are ready to join us. Uh, we don't have too many people here. It must be that a lot of people are all snowed out. But we'll start here with uh, Andrew Deutsch. Okay. And uh, let's see here. And, and uh, Rick Sheckman. Uh, Andrew should be with us any moment now. There he is. Hello, Andrew. How are you? Doing well. How are you? Good and to see you. And how are you, Shecky? <laughs> Can't complain. Well, you know, every time we're going to have a storm, you make big fun of it because it never happens. Oh, it's a big one. Yeah. And you, you, you yesterday said, I'm waiting for El Blizzardo. That's your term for it. El Blizzardo. That's Dave's term. That's Letterman's term. Oh, is it the Letterman term? That's really fun. Anyway, El Blizzardo. And uh, uh, by God, we got El Blizzardo here. This is, uh, this is quite, uh, quite a mess out there. Yes, it is. Welcome to my world. Yeah, but, but, the, but your electricity hasn't gone out, right? Oh, and luckily, my neighbor, who has a giant snowblower, came by and did the sidewalk and up to my front door. Oh, how nice of him. He didn't do the driveway, which I would not have expected. Yeah. Even though the road is clear enough if I had to go somewhere, which I don't. Right. But he also said, I'll be back at five o'clock to do, you know, do the next round. Because oh, he did I... it at like 10 o'clock this morning. Well, that was awfully nice of him, you know? Yeah. That's yeah. Really nice. Very nice. That's neighborly. That's what we like. Good old neighborly. Well, he does the whole neighbor, not not the whole neighborhood, but the entire block of 190th yeah. Street. Yeah. Amanda, so, is, are you having problems down in uh, uh, down in Georgia? Are you getting snow or anything down there? I'm sorry. Are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Okay, I just now got you. So sorry. I'm a little delayed. Um, it's just really cold. It's really cold, I, but that's it. I shouldn't it. complain because... I know y'all have like 10 inches or something. We have I talked to the lady I work with in Massapequa. Define, hold on a sec. Define really cold. 39 degrees. <laughs> 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 it's just really windy. I didn't like going out at lunch today. It was so cold. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> 39 yeah, well, degrees. Well, I might look have at me. Look at, look at me. Normally, I just wear this and a shirt, right? Mm -hmm. I've got a sweatshirt on and this because... I don't turn on the heat in the studio because there's a lot of heat being sent out by the equipment. But today it's cold in here. So well, you said they weren't giving you heat, the landlords. There, there was a problem with the heat. And so uh, night before last, I go to bed about two in the morning, freezing. Marjorie gets up, freezing. She had to put on, uh, and today she was even cold too. She had a a blanket around her neck and she looked like the cover of the Woodstock album, <laughs> you know, uh, and it was, a, it was just a freezing and cold and yucky and all of that. Yeah, so, know, you know. It's cold. Uh, here comes Len LaFrisco, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a minute. Where, where's Len? There's Len. Hello, Where's Len. You? How are you? Uh, he's, he's, he's there. He's he How are you fresh. doing, Len? Good, sir. How are you? Okay. Okay. You know, fresh uh, off the movie set, Mr. Lynn. <laughs> yeah, I dropped something yesterday. Yeah. So anyway, so it 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 uh, it's been it's been cold here, and uh, then we had our big washer dryer problems that we were having. Uh, so uh, and that hasn't been fixed yet, because the guy comes in, he's late by about three hours. And then he looks at it and he says, I can't remove this bolt. I have to get something else back from the office. Um, an extractor or something like that to get this bolt undone. If he can't get it undone, then he's got to tear the tub. Oh, it's, uh, it, this is turning into, this is like, you know, um, um, 
Uh, what's what's the kind of thing where you buy a house and then it just constantly they're constantly money pit. Money, money pit. pit. Yeah, this is a money pit of a uh, washer dr uh, dryer, but I don't want to have to remove it because I like it. You know, I don't want to have to. Oh, it'd, have, it'd be a mess to have to move it anyway. So uh, that was the best movie, by the way. It, have, what, did what? you see it, the Money Pit with Tom Hanks? Yeah, yeah. I love that movie. Yeah, but there's just one bolt that he can't get out because it's like gotten rusted and everything like that. And uh, it's round and he can't get any of his tools to fit in it. So he has to get an extractor, which he says he has a 60% chance he can get it out. But then he has to send away for a new bolt. So this thing's going to take forever. We're going to have, I'm going to be wearing dirty clothes for the next couple of weeks on this program. You can bet your life on that. Well, what a specific, what a specific percentage, 60% chance. <laughs> Oddly specific. I well, don't know. 80, 80, 80 percent. Oh, 80 percent. Okay. Well, I want to know. I want to know with my uh, with my uh, um, uh, COVID test, you know, it, that they say it's uh, 60 percent uh, effective. Well, what does that mean? Yeah. I mean, if I get the other 40 percent, am I still going to die from it or? Oh, my God. I you know, not. although they have some new statistics. This is interesting. Um, Shecky, I know, has had the Moderna. Charlie, which one did you have? Moderna. Moderna, very good. Uh, anybody else here have a uh, flu shot yet? No. Haven't, nobody else has had the vaccination yet. Not available. Here, here are the latest statistics. Interesting statistics. This was on, uh, 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 what was it? Uh, it was on- uh, Meet the Press. Meet the Press yesterday. Um, uh, uh, what's the uh, what's the one? Not the Moderna. The other one is I mean, Pfizer. Pfizer. Pfizer is is fifty two percent effective after three weeks. Okay, the first dose. Yeah. Johnson and Johnson seventy two percent after the first dose. There's only one dose in Johnson and yeah. Johnson. Guess what happens at three weeks on the Moderna? Eighty percent effective. Even without the second shot? Even without the second shot. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. So uh, now the question. There's a third one? I didn't know there was a third one. A Johnson and Johnson? Johnson yeah. I mentioned yeah. the Johnson and Johnson. They're at 72. It's a single shot. It's not out yet, but it's coming. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, so the argument now is how do we play this game? I mean, if in fact, like we got the Moderna 80%, we don't. And by the way, they say, and this is interesting. That uh, that second shot, you don't have to get it immediately. The later you get it, the more effective it is enhancing the first one. I, I don't understand that, but it just says it doesn't matter if you're late on it. So the question is, do we get the first dose into people's arms and forget about the second dose for now or having supplies for the second dose? Yeah. Because at least those who have Moderna are 80% uh, effective. You know, and there's at least a 50, I think, I think actually Pfizer goes up a bit uh, from the 52 to something like 70 after about three or four weeks. So anyway, it's, it's, uh, it, it, it's, it, it, what it is, nobody knows anything, right? Nobody. Right. Nobody knows All anything. New. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just. I'm I'm also loopy today too. I don't know why. So anyway, so um, let's see here. What's new? Anything happen? Uh, how's the How's the weather? You're in your area, Mandy. It's it's just 39 degrees. 39 and it's degrees. cold to us because or, that's or, or as we in New York would say, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> but it's supposed to snow this weekend. I just heard it's supposed to snow. So it's supposed to uh, snow. Yeah. We don't do you, good when you, it's you get snow you know? down. You get snow down there though, though don't you? Yeah. What do you mean then? Yeah. But I mean, it's still always, it's better than it used to be, like, say, 20 or 25 years ago when the city would just slowly shut down. Now, at least, yeah. it seems like we can handle things, but I don't know. It's usually ice, you know. <laughs> and trees come down and nobody has power and blah, yeah. blah, 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 bleah. blah. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, we, we don't, we, like, last couple of years, Rick, we haven't gotten a bad snow here, have we? Oh, I never had the snow blower out last year. Yeah. And I think the year before it wasn't too bad either. Just no, uh, no so once in a while you get yeah. one of these. This one hit the Midwest earlier, and it was terrible for the Midwest. It was just a real 
you know. Yeah. Well, did you see the Pacific Coast Highway collapsed? What? Yeah, I saw that. What? Highway one. <gasps> what happened? Uh, oh, it is right? now high, it's now highway one and a half. You know, this is the one that goes right along the coast. And every yeah. now and then, part it. of it does wash out and go away. You know? Where did it get washed out? Up, up in the north part? Big Sur. Uh, big Sur? Near, near Big Sur, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. wow. Yeah. So, uh, you know, but you just drive inland and then around it and make the earth. You know, but it, 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 it is the road is gone. You know, oh, always is going down. Get a get a good running <laughs> jump on it with your car, and maybe you get to the <laughs> other side. I figure if I stay here long enough, I'm about seventy miles inland. I'll have beachfront property here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but the uh, the the uh, 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 you know, I mean, we haven't had weather like this in I can't remember the last couple of years at least. You know, I remember when I first came to New York, man, I had some real incredible uh, uh, problems with uh, snow uh, to where I remember that they used to like pile the snow, you know, take the snow and pile it and it would become like little little mountains. And I remember one year down around where I was living in, in the south of the city, uh, down in uh, down in the village. It was like there was this mountain. It was literally, I would say, 20 feet high, where they just piled all the snow into this one place. And um, I'll never and covered the cars. Huh? And covered the cars. Oh, they covered the oh, cars, yeah. too. I remember once uh, in front of ABC where I worked, they, they came along one night and they covered a car. You could see the, you know, the dome of the car. <laughs> And then uh, it was there frozen in for weeks because it was really cold and it got frozen in. And finally, one day, warm weather came and the ice melted and there was no car under it. <laughs> yeah, it it's freezing here. It's 60. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Really? One degrees. It's so cold it's 65 and sunny in Austin. Right now, I haven't there, been outside since last Thursday. Right now it's warmed oh, up. Cold. It's 30 degrees. Is uh, it? And it's still heck? and it's still snowing. It's still snowing outside. Yeah, but where is this? Where's the sunny place? Uh, California. San Jose. Oh, yeah. San Jose, California. Yeah. 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 And here, uh, here my, my dog's enjoying the cold. Anybody else here <laughs> out in California? No. We don't have anybody here from California. Man. Just me. <laughs> There's your there's your polar bear, right? Yeah, he's enjoying it. It gets down. It's been like <laughs> six degrees at night, and right now it's what twenty. And don't miss it at all. I would nope. people love people love to talk about the weather though. Yeah, don't bother me. Was it cold? Or, you or illnesses. You, you live downtown. It's about the same temperature, you know. Well, we've been conditioned in our society not to talk about religion or politics. So you have yeah. to talk about the weather. Yeah, talk, so weather is the best thing. Weather ever. or your illnesses yeah. Yeah. and your medicines. Oh, no, that's only when you get older. <laughs> yeah. It's only when you get older. Or uh, do you have kids? <laughs> oh, yeah, I have kids. You have kids? <laughs> <laughs> are they in school? Uh, are they in virtual school? Are they? These are the, the mediocre things you talk about, right? Right. Well, it's like a bad well, dinner on a cruise ship. Well, like when Marjorie, <laughs> uh, when Marjorie gets together with her friends, uh, the first thing I hear them talking on the phone, they're talking about their illnesses. You know. Yeah, it used to be boys and who were dating and all of that. And <clears throat> it's weird. Now it's talk about. Now it's I had I had a stroke. Well, I'll see your stroke and raise your heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got six toes cut off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, how was that colonoscopy after all? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's right. That's Charlie Fortos. <laughs> <laughs> we ought to all have mob names, don't you think? Right. <laughs> Alex mob. Yeah, yeah. Charlie yeah. Charlie Fortos. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Charlie Fortos. Hey, uh, hey. Hey. Yeah. hey, but hey, the, Alex. Like, guess where I didn't go today? Shopping. Hawaii. Today was uh, injection oh, day. Oh, today you was you were supposed, were supposed to, to get your shot. You're That's right. Oh, you see what's happening, folks. You see what's happening. It's kind of canceled. 
It is canceled. Oh my God. And tomorrow. Your your and tomorrow. Yep. So uh, they say they're going to reschedule you. Well, at least in New York, they're going to reschedule. But I wonder when. Next April? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, is that your first or second one, Jeff? This should have been my first. Okay. But I actually, I have a backup plan <laughs> to go to New Haven at Yale oh. on Wednesday. Oh, yeah. All right, Stop take it. it. Stop in at Webb's Pizza while you're there. <laughs> you don't necessarily go. have to go back to that place to get your second shot. You can well, get your second maybe. shot anywhere. That's yeah. right. You know. Yeah. Um, this is a, you know, I there, there there's a big thing here that they found that 65% of medical workers are having the shot. The rest of them don't want it. What? Yeah, I'm surprised. What? Yes, I heard that. One, one of the what? nurses at my doctor's office wouldn't take it. Really? Why? Just a fear. A lot of people have fear of shots. Yeah. Mm. Fear of dying, I think, is worse than a fear of shot. I, think, I, I think it's deeper than that. I think it's their morons. Is what <laughs> it is. It's a very simple a explanation. Yes, they ask I felt the thing when they, they did it. What? I don't want that Bill Gates microchip floating around in their bloodstream. Right. What did you say? What did you say, Rick? I said I never felt a thing when they injected me. Huh? You never felt I just it when held they held up my arm and then, oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It's she like showed, any other shot. She showed me the stuff in the in the uh, hypodermic and at the same time showing me the size of the needle. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand. The needle is only about that long that they shot they gave me. Well, they're yeah, about me this too. long, and I don't know why she doesn't hit bone. That's what I can't. <laughs> mm. Well, they don't go. They don't put it all the way in, do they? Right. They don't. They don't. don't yes, they do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got my shot on Saturday. Yeah, but you know something? Those those needles are so thin that you don't even have to really jab. They, you just they just go slide right in. Yeah. They go into a pore or something. They're that they're that thin. Oh. And that. Well, I give myself uh, allergy shots, and you touch the skin, you're in. You know what I mean? It, you don't even feel it. Yeah, she shoots up every day here. Just what I like. <laughs> There's a fellow I know covered with know? tattoos who's afraid of needles and won't get a shot. <laughs> oh, <my>. Really? <laughs> completely, completely covered all over with tattoos. I ain't getting that vaccine. They're going to put a needle in me. I don't understand uh, because that. Of the ink? Because, Andrew, because of the ink? He's an idiot. He's, he's, he'll, he'll let you tattoo all over him. You're not giving him a shot. Wow. wow. I just, every time he tells me, I, I, I ask him, you going to get the shot just so I can laugh again. <laughs> well, what they were saying was, is there was a, um, um, uh, Shecky, you read about it, and, and, the, and the governor has been making a big deal about it, that uh, 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 black people in, in New York's, in New York State. No, the mayor's making the big deal, not the well, governor. Also, governor, too, I heard him today do the same thing, give the same speech about how the black were disproportionately uh, getting less of the COVID shots and so on. So they're trying to reach out to them. Okay. Well, you know, you can take a yeah. lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Okay. And if they don't want it, then they don't want it. And I hate to tell them the Tuskegee experiments were like 40 <laughs> yeah. years ago, 50 years ago. And more than uh, that. Yeah, and this I've doesn't in even come into that things. category. This is if this were an experiment, they wouldn't be shooting white arms with it, you know. <laughs> so I mean, I think it's it's time for the especially the black leaders in this community to step up to the. Well, I think they have, and and a lot of black leaders proudly put their arm up and get their shots. Yeah, yeah. explain it, Charlie. You're the official. Uh, explain it. I can't. Ex <laughs> All I know is some people are just honorary. You, you can't get through to them. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, but I don't think Remember, it's fair to say that the black leaders somehow are going to, these people are sheep, and because the black leader says it's safe, they're going to go do it. No, but you see them get the shot. Yeah, it's so a great it's a, example to show, but but if, yeah. somebody, if somebody's terrified of it, you know, yeah. the, fact, the fact that there's a, a pastor or someone in the black community that they respect who gets it doesn't mean that they're all of a sudden the switch is going to go, and they're going to go, okay, well, no, it's yeah. fine. No. And remember, remember Charlie said, the needle was only that big. 
So already we have conspiracy theory there. Yeah. See, we don't even get the same needle that y'all get. <laughs> See, you, you explained that needle's that long. Charlie's was only that long. So yeah, they, they, don't they don't want the black people to get a full <laughs> dose. So you just want them to go in a little, little bit. Yeah, a little my, bit. my needle wasn't very long, if I remember it. You know? Really? There's, there's, there, there, are, there are plenty of white anti-vax crazies Absolutely. in this country yeah. as well. well. What was the anti-vaxxers at the Dodgers Stadium where they were given yeah. shots? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's infuriating. They and shut they, them down. Yeah, they were blocking. Shut them down. God. Run I mean, them over. And and somebody said, you know, I understand if you don't want to get the vaccine. Yeah. If you're anti-vaxxer and you don't believe in vaccines and whatever. Don't stop someone else from getting one. Exactly. That's in that's worst, what's so infuriating. In the yes. worst, really, well, and, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm on your side, totally, obviously. But if you really believed in your heart and crazy soul, that Marjorie getting it was going to, you know, really hurt her. You'd probably try and stop her from getting it, right? Oh, I thought it was going to hurt her. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just think I was nuts. hoping the it's more really painful, just... the better. I want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're that crazy, you're trying to stop the government from doing this to people. Yeah, well, but we you do know, have those you know, I've got enough problems on trying to figure out how to marinate a baby. Okay. Huh? Yeah. As you know, all Democrats eat babies. <laughs> and we're, we're the faces Especially the Jewish ones. What? Well, especially the Jews. Especially well, the you, Jews, yeah. If you well, read no, no, they have lasers. That no, we, no we, we got the lasers that are starting <laughs> the, the forest lasers. fires in California. Yeah, I just saw one fly by. But Alex, if you read what QAnon says, they don't just do that. They have to scare the baby. Oh, wait a minute. Here, here. here, here. Alex, go out of the room and take take it. It. They, they have to scare the baby to get the adrenaline level up so that drinking the blood benefits it. Uh, <laughs> you, have to get it you have to get it right. It, it's, it's very important. Uh, Alex, Alex is just concerned just about the, the Jewish Alex's lasers. Plumber must have come back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're, they're misusing the Jewish lasers. They were supposed to be able to circumcise at a distance. And they're uh, getting Marjorie? <laughs> Marjorie? What? Ruben, he's ringing up. He wants you to bring him in. It's our it's our oh, guy yeah. with the cleaning, uh, taking care of the washer dryer. Yeah, it's uh, our, <laughs> the plumber was here. Huh? Uh. Boy, what a I said that when you walked in, I said the plumber's here. I don't know why he's here. I mean, nothing. Nobody's moving. Get I him don't... on the show. Let's let's interview him. <laughs> he's doing his job. Why are you charging so much? Four hundred and fifty dollars an hour. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you see any of the CNN QAnon special the other night? Oh, um, no. Amazing is that there was this guy that you know was in QAnon now is out. And he was Anderson Cooper was starting. He was showing Anderson yeah. all the documentation from Q about how mm -hmm. Anderson Cooper drinks the blood of babies. Oh. <laughs> and Anderson, like, he had this smile on his face. Now I know Anderson because I taught him. I was his teacher in high school. Were but, you um, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Was, but, he, uh, was he a good student? Very good student. Oh, very good student. Great I hate it. I'm sorry to hear that because I wanted to hear something yeah, really nasty. Nice. No, he's a good guy. <laughs> but um, he was bemused. He was saying, "You really believe that in my spare time I was eating?" The guy said, "I didn't believe it. I knew it. It was a. This was fact to me." You wow. got to see his interview with the my pillow guy. <laughs> that was great. He got his best with the my pillow guy. Oh my god, he tore that guy up. It was fantastic. Oh boy, yeah. I like Steve, that. did you uh, did you ever do any parent teacher conferences with uh, with Gloria? Gloria, I he was not my advisor, so no. But I, you know, but I uh, had a little bit with her. He liked the. Oh, you know, they're, they're very nice people. And this QAnon crazy, though, was showing him pictures of him and his brother and Gloria when they were very young and saying, look at the satanic symbolism in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my mother collects Mexican art. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, people are insane and they truly believe it. Yeah. That's Wait a problem. minute. You were a t his teacher or you were? I was his teacher. You were his yeah. teacher. Wow. Wow. How old are you? 64. And so he's how old? He's got a... He graduated, I think, in 85 from high school. Ah, so rich. Well, yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, no, I mean, the QAnon people are nuts. I, I mean, I don't understand it. I don't understand how anybody who was even <laughs> look, at, look at Andrew. <laughs> Your lizard person. How anybody. I knew how it. Anybody. <laughs>
you know. Well, it's anybody, Titanic it's I'll give stuff. you some. It just, uh, Anderson, it, Anderson and his partner just got a baby. Yes, they did. So oh, is it still oh, around, oh, or did they eat it already? <laughs> 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 they already eat them. They're just plumping them up for a while. Yeah, I guess so. Well, maybe Mandy could give us because she's a she's a Democrat. She could give us some good hints on how to cook baby. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, like the old um, dead baby jokes, right? How do you make a dead baby flow? Oh, oh I never understood the whole dead baby. <laughs> add, <laughs> add root beer and ice cream. Yes, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I saw Anderson at the beach, and they were using butter instead of suntan oil on the baby. So. <laughs> <laughs> they still. I remember that from back in the '60s. They yeah. did dead, 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 dead baby, baby jokes. jokes now? Oh yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. That was like, yeah, I think they were like 1972, 74, that era is when they all came out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway. Oh, they weren't yeah. funny then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I went to Marjorie's with the guy. Marjorie, can you hear us? You know? With the guy. Just with the guy. The microphone's still on. That's good. <laughs> huh? is, is there a microphone still on? Yeah. Uh, looks like it. Well, I, if- yeah, but I don't hear anything. Let's see. Compare it with the- <laughs> That's that's probably uh, not good. But anyway, Maybe you start uh, seeing them having torrid sex. Or yeah. well, <laughs> at at least that machine the way the snow is today, I don't feel guilty about not going out. You know, <laughs> no, no, really. I mean, uh, what am I going to do? You know, uh, oh, it was going oh, sideways at one point this morning. So it's yeah. like top five. Is it like mm. top five biggest storms? Not Ooh. bad now. It hasn't been bad for a little while. Really? What do you mean? Yeah, no, it's actually on my window. Oh, it's coming in like crazy. Rain. Really? I'm looking out my window. There's like hardly anything now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've got the thing on my windows where it's like, you know, the snow is building up a little bit on the bottom, you know, and kind of like like Christmas flocking, you know? Yeah. So it's really. It's like not, a postcard. Yeah. 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 Tomorrow yeah. I'll attack the driveway, you know. I have nowhere to go anyway. I was just going to say, where are you going to go? Careful, because people <laughs> yeah. your age, people your age get heart attacks doing that. Well, that's why I've been very careful. Yeah, yeah. I had a, uh, I had an uncle die doing that. He was, really? uh, yeah. He, uh, he had a heart problem and he went out and did the snow one day and didn't come back. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, My uh, granddaddy was working in the yard the day before he died. I mean, he did, he was working in the yard with my brother. And then he went to bed that night and just died in sleep. But it didn't, oh, wow. didn't have anything to do with his. Well, he had had, like, he had smoked all his life and he had had a heart attack previously, maybe even a stroke, you know, yeah. a little bit before that. But I mean, he was, he was just out working, literally raking, mowing, whatever they were doing. Yeah. He, hard, he went to bed yeah. that night and it, it kind of like scarred my brother a little bit. I, think. Just, well, you know, I don't know if that would necessarily kill made him. Made him sad. <laughs> Oh, well, one of one of our stagehands died at the old show shoveling snow. Yeah, so shoveling uh, snow. There are major deaths every year from that. Every year. You know? Yeah. Now you yeah. would think that because it's exercise, it's actually good for your heart. But in the, I think you're combining yeah. it with the cold air, and then you're out of trouble. shape usually. Yeah. And yeah. also, if you did it every day, yeah, it would be great. Right. But- <laughs> If you never exercise and you go out yeah. and you're really cold and you're fat and you shovel, you're gonna you could die. Yeah. You know what I watched? I saw a documentary on Muhammad Ali, which is on uh, on HBO. I don't know if you've seen it called "What's My Name," Muhammad Ali, and mm-hmm. he he um, he finally decided once that he was tired of training at like at the Fountain Blue Hotel in Miami and its fancy places. That that was not the atmosphere to get ready for a fight. So he bought this place in the woods and he literally built a cabin and so on to train in and all of that. And that was the Muhammad Ali sparring camp for years. And what he would do is he would go out for exercise and chop down trees Hmm. just for the sheer exercise of it all. Do you think that was like the inspiration for like when it was, was it Rocky II? When he fought the Russian guy? (laughs) Yeah. It might've well been, yeah. But I mean, he literally go out and chop trees down, and then they would take the trees and make them into more buildings on the property. But he he chopped down all the trees for the uh, for the complex. Hmm. Uh, so I mean, uh, 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 so the question is, how much exercise is too much exercise? And my answer is, of course, no exercise at all. <laughs> <laughs> hush, 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 hush. Everybody should exercise. Well, I can't get exercise. I mean, she's got this bike. You know this Peloton dealy. You know. Do you do you ever use it? 
No. No. <laughs> no. Send you some I, kettlebells, I, and I'll send you the link I'm to my to class. Wait a minute. You, you, now, Jackie <laughs> has a, a treadmill, right, Tre Jackie? No, no, it's I don't even know what you call it anymore. It's called the coat it's hanger. Kind of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next time you use it, you might look at the name on it. Yeah. Yeah. When's the last time you used it? Two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> this, this morning to hang his robe. And, and how much did this thing cost? Twenty five hundred, baby. Yeah, it's about what the Peloton costs. Well, at least Marjorie's on her Peloton at least a couple of days a week doing fifteen miles. Wow. Yeah. Oh wow. no. Good for her. Yeah. Um, I get exhausted driving fifteen miles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, you know, I mean, I just, there's just something about, I know the seat is uncomfortable. Yeah. That's yeah. the problem. I, I just get bored, you know, unless I turn on the TV and watch something, you know. Well, all I know is when that's I, what I do, what? yeah, that's what I do. What? I have I an exercise. What's the TV on? Yeah, I have the stationary bike in front of the big TV yeah. and, you know, I watch a movie and pedal. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I should do that. But the trouble is I've got this screen on the Peloton. Right. And uh, what I do is I put on some place to go uh, biking. And one of them happens to be, I used to every day, I used to drive my, ride my bike in the marina in San Francisco out to Fort Point, which is you right. know, where Kim Novak jumped in the water in vertigo. That was Fort no. Point. All right. And then I would, I, I would come back. Well, I went on the Peloton and it says San Francisco. So I put in San Francisco and it was that ride. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I could actually take the ride that I took every day. Uh, but I gave up on doing that bike because they, somebody stole my bike. So I bought another bike, but I didn't like the way that one felt. Hmm. You know, uh, I, I got to be comfortable when I'm biking, you know, and, and, and the seats they make today are just hellacious. Mm -hmm. You know, they all think I'm Lance Armstrong or something. <laughs> I'm, I'm not because I don't dope before I Peloton. You can change the seat. No pain, no gain. Yeah, they, order it more gain. They, took the, they took the ride off the Peloton for riding through the, the, the bad neighborhoods here in Cleveland because people on their Peloton were getting mugged. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I used to, I was one of the first people that ever had a, a GPS in my car. Shecky knows this. People who knew me know this. I had, I had a, a GPS in the car. So I would put it in, take, you know, find the fastest way home. And it would take me through every bad neighborhood in San Francisco. <laughs> and I'm mm -hmm. thinking, there's somebody at the company who goes, my friends want to mug people. Let me see how I can send people <laughs> from here to there. Let's make sure they go through the bad neighborhood. You know, so. Okay, that's my joke for today. <laughs> you know, I'm through. I've done my job. Uh, yeah, but it's probably true. Have you guys no? watched the Saturday Night Live from last Saturday? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I thought it was weak. <laughs> the George's you, what, was cringy. What, you, you're going. You get not, nodding your head, Mandy. What are you saying? Uh, the George's skit was so cringy. Yeah. I just could barely watch it. It made me so uncomfortable. Wait a minute, what, what made you feel so uncomfortable? That George, the one about Georgia. Oh, about in the diner. Yeah. Um, well, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Yeah. It was well, you, just, know, you, guys, know. you guys are getting a bad rap. I don't know. There was a couple of good jokes in, in it, fact, I guess, but fact, it, it was so kind of cringy. So bad that Marjorie's thinking of changing her name. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a good idea. Will you answer me this, Mandy, please. I don't want I don't want you to have to be the apologist for your state. Okay. okay. How did this woman ever get elected? I, I, it baffles me. <laughs> the only thing I can think of is just the area that she's from. It's a deeply conservative area. It's, yeah, and it's it's up in the very like the corner, northwest Georgia, kind of like near Tennessee and Alabama. Mm -hmm. I have and a I mean, friend just, that lives there. Yeah, it's, she's, it's not anywhere near, you know, the suburbs of Atlanta or, you know, she would have never gotten, she would have never gotten elected in Atlanta. No, very no. Republican and very uh, you're conservative up in that area. But still, it's still baffling because she's crazy. 
Yeah. Her, her in the primary, her. wasn't she unopposed? Huh? Yeah, or was she? I think was she, she was unopposed, unopposed yeah. in the primary. Oh, that's how she got the primary. And they always re vote for the Republicans. So that's yeah. yeah. Her story is going to continue to rise in this party, I think. Uh, I don't think she's going anywhere. I think she's going to be, you know, she's the party, the face of the party now. Ugh. Lauren Bobert. Well, Fox Lauren, Lauren Bobert. Let me say something about Lauren Lauren Bobert. Talk about Miss Shooters. Yeah. She is hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, especially when she's hot. packing, right? What? Especially when she's packing, right? Yeah, especially when she's packing. <laughs> high school dropout. High, high really? school dropout. Hangs out with militias. Owns a bar. Has a, a bar, a bar or a is it a is it a, a bar and grill a called bar shooters. grill called shooters, where <laughs> all all the waiters and waitresses wear sidearms. Yep. I mean, no How offense to people shooter. that don't finish high school, but if you can't finish high school, like that's pretty bad. But you know, like that's it's not really that hard to graduate from high school. Look, I look, I, I'd be the first one to admit high school's very boring. Yeah. <laughs> uh, high school is very boring, but you just got to see your way through it. Right. All you got to do is go there every day. Exactly. You know, and, and uh, uh, today they'll, they'll graduate anybody, right? You, you, know, yeah. you, can drop, you can drop out of high school, fine, but that shouldn't send you to Congress. <laughs> yeah. that's what i'm saying no offense to people i understand their circumstances really? and people go back and get their geds or whatever Absolutely. but the one thing i told my children when the girls when they were younger just because i didn't know how they're going to turn out I, but i just kind of planted in their head that i'm like you guys if you don't graduate from high school you're pretty much going to have trouble in life if you can't just accomplish that one task you know you're going to have some struggles so well, they both Lord ended Bobert up is excelling, thankfully Lord yeah. Bobert has proved you wrong mandy yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Apparently so. Well, she got her GED right before the election. Yeah. Did she? So she could say yes. oh, oh, did she get her GED? It says GED in 2020, right before, oh, a wow. month before the first primary. Probably because it's a requirement. Right? <laughs> Is it a requirement? Oh, I mean, dang. Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, she didn't wow. get a, there, There's talk about trying to disqualify Trump from ever holding federal office again. Mm -hmm. I've got an easier way to do that. Just make all the states require anybody on the presidential ballot has to submit their taxes. Yeah. There you right. Go. Trump won't do it. How yeah. about just make him take the same test citizenship people have to take? No, he's going to do it. There you he's going to do it. Don't worry. He'll, he's going to do it. Look, and he's gonna, gonna, he's gonna, I don't want to bring him up that much because right. I don't. we don't usually get the politics on the show. <clears throat> but, I mean, you got to hand it to Trump. He got through those whole four years without once having to release his tax. Yep. <laughs> I mean, that that to me is pure genius on his or, part. Or his health care plan. Huh? Or his health care plan. plan. Yeah, or the health care plan, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Bo Bobert's, Bobert's, restaurant, Bobert's yeah. restaurant is in Rifle, Colorado. <laughs> what? Right, yeah. I, I was trying to find it because I, I heard that on CNN. Yeah, Rifle, Colorado. Yeah. Right. Shooter's Grill. In Shooter's Rifle, grill Colorado. Son of a bitch. Is, is they actually named a town Rifle? <laughs> they were probably referring to looking through. <laughs> yeah. It can't possibly mean the gun, right? You know. Well, it could have been. It could have been settled by, you know. Oh, yeah. Colorado used to be the Wild West. Yeah, it was the Wild yep. West. Yeah, that you're right. Good. Very good. It's a long rifle creek. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, they so, named it after the creek. But then so, when they anyway, the rifle I, creek. I think it, they they the creek, George has gotten a good reputation and a bad reputation. They've gotten a bad reputation because of Marjorie, whatever her name is. Taylor Green. MTG. Taylor Green. We're going to call her MTG, in fact, in just like they call in, in this, you know, AOC by her initials. Yeah. Yeah, well, in this we'll town, we call her just Taylor Green because Marjorie. Oh, empty brain. Marjorie just doesn't like the fact <laughs> that the name's. The I don't blame her. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, in case people are just tuning in and wondering where Marjorie is, she's with <laughs> the guys fixing our. <laughs> she's with Raul. With the... Is that a euphemism? <laughs> Take care of the plumber. <laughs> the plumber with his knife. <laughs> Plum. She's attending to the plumber. <laughs> to the plumber. Uh, She's getting you a distance. Show. 
Give you a discount. Keep the music. <laughs> yeah. She's negotiating. All of a sudden, it's only twenty dollar bill. She's negotiating price. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's a five-figure discount. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I love this show. You just, you just sit here that. having a good time. We haven't heard a word from Mike Chisholm. He's just sat there for the whole hour not saying a word. Mike? Well, you know, I'm still in my 40s, so instead of talking about health and the weather, we're still asking each other what you do for a living. That's our... That's, that's <laughs> what, <we're doing. laughs> what do you do for a living? Yeah, that's, that's, that's our small talk. And what do you tell them you do for a living? Um, I tell them I'm a partner in a financial firm, but I'm branching out into, uh, into other things. <laughs> oh, okay. That's vague. That's very vague. Yeah. But it's for, it's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, my, my, what, like the, the financial business that I have is 15 years old and it's, it's good. It's been great, but mm -hmm. my wife's building a men's mental health app and I host the podcast for it. And, uh, that's probably going to be our next kind of adventure but until then i'm happy to keep doing what i've been doing and going from there so well, what's yeah. a financial business so i focus on future financial planning for basically middle income folk mm -hmm. um insurance investments all that kind of stuff yeah okay that's fine yeah what's your rate that's fine what do you charge <laughs> I, don't, I don't charge anything i don't you charge, don't charge anything, anything. Yeah. Well, how, broker, how can you so possibly, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you're not making a living off of what you do, how can you possibly tell people how to save their money? And make <laughs> I make, make a great living doing what I do, uh, but I don't get paid from the client's pocket. I'm a broker. So say we choose a certain insurance company or a, a certain bank to do business with, they oh. pay me a finder's fee. Oh, I see. And the is the same no matter which company I go with. So It's a, it's a big <clears throat> trophy in your LinkedIn because, profile, Mike. You know what I've never done, Shecky? <laughs> I, have I ever come to you for money uh, advice? I don't think so. I don't think so. And actually, he has the degrees and everything, you know. But when I give anyone money advice, I will just tell you what I am doing. Mm. So I won't tell you, you should buy Stock X or you should buy GameStop or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, you explain to me, please, and to the people out there, what happened with GameStop? I they they explain it and then it makes no sense at all. Not at all. I got a master's degree in astrophysics and I can't figure out. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people have short positions in that stock because it's a piece of crap stock. Right. So these now explain shorting. Wait, 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 back up, back up. This is like you trying to explain football to me. <laughs> shorting. What is shorting exactly? You it, buy against when, the stock when you borrow a stock let's say at ten dollars because you think it's going to go to five dollars and then you're going to buy it back at five dollars to replace it so what these people are doing is they're pushing this stock up to hundred dollars two hundred dollars three hundred dollars causing these people who shorted it at ten dollars they've got to cover their position buy it back at that price right oh okay all right and so what, what happens to these people who buy it at the high position do they sell it at that point Many of them do. Yes, a lot of them it's, turns it around. It's a stock that is pretty much bankrupt. Right. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's a stock that's pretty much bankrupt. But if it's worth, let's say, three hundred dollars a share, it goes up to three. It's not worth three hundred dollars a share. Right. It's worth about five dollars a share. Right. No. Yeah. But if saying. people are buying it, it's going to go up. Right. This is what's classically called a pump and dump, right? On their end, on the buying end, right? You buy it, you pump up the price, and you sell it. You make a lot of money. The short squeeze. Right, a lot of kids. A lot of kids made a lot of money. And they, yeah, they, they got they, it, it, but it's the hedge funds that got hurt in all of this. They got right? hurt. They, they, were the ones shorting, shorting. they were shorting it. Right. That's that's okay. the funny part because the hedge funds do that all the time. Yeah, it's, it's okay because they're rich. Now yeah. they're crying yeah. foul. Now they're bandits. It's like they're yeah. betting on the price going down, but Which these people made the price go way up. Yeah, they're proving that the stock market has nothing to do with the value of companies. It has to right. do with who bet last. It, it's you know? what I always like to call a fixed casino. Right. Yeah. The funniest thing is, you know, blaming these kids for playing with the market, right? <laughs> and then like, these giant. Right. No, uh, but it, in a way, I mean, uh, 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 haven't the hedge funds been kind of hinky anyway? I mean, yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 So don't yeah. they? Isn't it? Don't they really deserve this? Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
because they say these kids got together and decided they just screw the hedge funds. Yeah. yeah. Who was it that invented the phrase vulture capitalism? Because that's what hedge funds are. Okay. Vulture capitalism. Well, well, vulture. That's vulture what Mitt Romney was, right? Yeah. Mitt Romney? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, actually, that's where, yeah. yeah, he made uh, a lot of money. I mean. what, what, it comes from venture capital, which is investing. What was the What was the company he was really, with? Uh, uh, I'm trying to remember the company he was with, and they were a hedge fund. Yeah, something. Yeah. Bain, Bain Capital. Bain Capital. Bain, Bain. yeah, yeah. Which always, they were, they were always got group. to me because there's a character in DC Comics. It's right. a bad guy named Bain. Yeah. <laughs> when I heard Bain Capital, I said, "You got to be kidding." <laughs> you <know. laughs> did you did, did you see the movie The Big Short? Yes, I mean that's that'll explain it to you. That'll explain yeah. it. To you. That's a good oh, movie. What, what, by the way, Marjorie, what's happening with our washer dryer? I'll tell you after. It's a long story. Is it going to <laughs> oh, it it sound good? Is it gonna Did be you fit? negotiate the price? <laughs> Is it going to be? Did he get the screw out or what? No. No, he no. couldn't. He had a thing with about twenty-five or thirty little attachments. He tried every one. Um, now you're so, screwed, Alex. So what do we do now? <laughs> he's going to come back. He's going to order that shaft, and he's going to order that screw, and he's going to come back when he has them both. I mean the uh, the agitator. Yeah, so yeah you're whatever. Getting, yeah, you're getting okay. shafted and screwed. Shafted and screwed. <laughs> and getting <laughs> agitated. <laughs> I gave him two of my cookies. Cheap. But he can get it off. Uh, I'll bet you. Love my cookies. That's all that counts. Yeah. Uh, okay. No, <laughs> Liz, don't Dang. don't watch the show back, please. But he don't. Can get, <laughs> good luck. Good yes, luck monetizing yes. this one, Alex. But he, but he, 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 he can he can fix the washer and dryers. Cookies, man. I don't know what, if I like where the I made is. oatmeal cookies with raisins and walnuts. How good is oh, that? I love those. And I didn't use sugar. So he liked your raisins? <laughs> raisin walnuts. <laughs> the dirtiest show you've ever done. Anyway, so did he say it can be fixed? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. That's all I care Andy, about. When you have a chance, email me. So I have your email address. I want to send you something. Uh, yeah. On Facebook, you can get my name. Just send me a message and then I'll have yours. Sorry, guys. Yeah. This is a girl thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. You know that she, does she have your address? No, I just asked her to email me. Or me you didn't hear me. Well, how can she? If I had her email address, I would send it. Okay, send but how does she, does she have your email address? No, but she could send me a message on Facebook. Oh, on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Yes. Either that or just send it to me at al alex at gabnet.net. Uh, man. <laughs> that's what women do they go men <laughs> well it's true yeah, yeah. So, you can't yeah. live with them and you can't live without them so yeah. there yeah, sure. yeah. uh anyway um so anybody been doing anything interesting nah i haven't been out since thursday yeah i'm well, just sorry I, that I, jeff wasn't able to get his shot I, am. I took the cover off my car yesterday just so I could take it down to the gas station, fill it up with gas, and then come back and put the cover back on. Put the cover <laughs> back on. There you go. Because I, um, but uh, Jeffrey, um, uh, I would say that they will get back to you in another couple of days and just send you, set you up. No, so they're them. going to go to Yale. Yeah, I'm going to go they have a over backup. there on uh, Wednesday. You have a backup. But Shecky had a yeah. backup too, but it wasn't until March. Uh, well, that was my original appointment at Javits, and then I got this one. Yeah, he went and got himself an appointment with the state, and the state was like March. Like March well, 8th, I think. You know, so and <coughs> who cares? Who cares? I mean, the place I, I was going to go is just right up the street. I can just walk there. Yeah, well, that's what Shecky was able to do. It was nearby. Yeah, oh. I was there. I left my, I joked. I left my garage and was back within an hour. Yeah, and my mine was a block and a half away, and then I only waited in line for two goddamn yeah. hours. The line, the line started in front of your building, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it took me. It took Just me about. three. Just yeah, right it, took, in. it took me three days to defrost. That's how cold I was. Um, it was me, you, know, you know where the uh, church is, right? Uh, the uh, old uh, Roxy Theater, right, Shecky? Mm. You yeah. just go one block, and that's how far back the line was. 
okay from the place so that's how close i am to it you know yeah and i i, I you know i enjoyed it but anyway um do you guys ever get the feeling you people i women all the time women, you guys <laughs> You guys, I know, and you're on your own. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the um, it, it, do you ever get the feeling that we're living in that apocalyptic vision all the time that we, that oh, we, yeah. used we to read about oh, in yeah. comic books? Don't even think that, about it. It's where, 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 where there's this disease that is t decimating the entire population. Absolutely right, and a, a, uh. a handful of people are alive. And those that are alive have to drive down the highways being chased by militias. <laughs> really? What was that movie with Mel Gibson? Yeah. Mad Max. Mad Max. Yeah. Mad Max? I think it takes place in 2021. Does yeah. it really? Yeah. Yeah. I, like I, I saw a meme or something. I don't know if that's factual. I, 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 yeah. I think I like it the is one that funny. Will Smith was in called I Am Legend. It yeah. was about mm. an apocalyptic. Uh, yeah, biological weapon yeah. thing that got well, out of I mean they keep saying every time we turn around they go well you know there's the South African strain right. yeah mm -hmm. yeah so, and the Brazilian strain called. I yes. taught a seminar on dystopia five years ago yeah and this is worse than yeah. anything but, any of the books or movies I taught in that but seminar. you know how how you how you take care of the Brazilian strain you wax it <laughs> <laughs> I heard it caused your pubes to fall wax out on wax off <laughs> I understand in Chile uh, that one out of five people die these days. Yeah. And they don't even have, don't have the COVID down there. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't have enough oxygen. And it's them. summertime. I think 100% of them die at some point, right? Yeah, I mean, we're, <laughs> there's a black market in Chile and Peru. But what are we up to, Charlie? Charlie is our harbinger of doom. He is our well, as of death. seven o'clock last night, it was 441,000 dead Americans. Ooh. Wow. Isn't it like one every 30 seconds? Well, one, one every 28 30. seconds. 28 there's seconds. There's great wow. evidence now that they've been undercounting by as much as 40% during the first yeah. month. So wow. Really? All this idea. Oh, yeah. somebody died in a car crash. And That's our nice. governor is starting to get into trouble for that. Well, as he should. The as miscounting should. of the uh, of the deaths by fifty percent. Well, I think it had something to do with the fact that the nursing homes. Yeah. Was it? The nursing homes were sending people to hospitals, and when they died there, they weren't. The hospitals them. counted them, not the nursing. But they homes. didn't count them as a nursing home death. Yeah. You know. But there's anyone who died at home in places like Florida. The the. The governor made it clear you cannot test them for COVID. Well, what was it that was in the- Are you serious? Yeah. They didn't want to count it because it would hurt right. numbers. What was it in, Georgia. in, uh, in it was in the Times today, Shecky, that, that uh, Cuomo had um, uh, gotten rid of like eight of his top- They quit. Virology people because oh, he didn't is, agree he with did. them. Because he didn't yeah. agree with them. Yeah. He does. He said he didn't trust the experts, and he got rid of like nine of them. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, Sounds like Trump's legal team. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is the kind of thing. Does I he have one? Out of Trump, but yeah, not he, out of Cuomo. He called Saul from Better Call Saul. <laughs> yeah. Now Trump's when, got a guy. Who, when's that coming him. back on? As soon as oh. he's done with the impeachment trial. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you do, Mandy, down there? You guys are masking pretty good, aren't you, in Georgia? What now? The, Georgia, they're masking pretty well down there. Yeah, pretty well. Yeah. I mean, everywhere I go, I see people are wearing them. I don't yeah, I rarely see. The only time you, we just have restaurants open where, you know, you can actually go in and sit down and they, well, not every restaurant, but some restaurants are open and so people are spaced out, but you know. Like 25 restaurant or 50%. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, obviously you have to take your mask off to eat. So. Yeah. yeah. I haven't been I, out to eat in six months. We're, yeah. opening, we're opening next week, right? 25% on Valentine's Day. 25% on Valentine's Day. Really? Like, we're going to go out. Yeah. It's 75% in Texas. Really? really? Yeah, we don't give a shit how many people die. <laughs> <laughs> they are Texans. So what are you going to do? The same oh, thing is people sure, it's 75%. And, and, and mm -hmm. we, we're, only California is having more people die than we are. Wow. Is probably a hundred percent occupancy. Mm -hmm. 
This well, is probably why my daughter's freaking out all the time. She's had like seven COVID tests. Really? She's so six. nervous about it. And she's 25. But I mean, she's a scientist. So she's just very, you know, and plus she has anxiety. You know, I don't get them because <laughs> I, I get my test by proxy because Marjorie gets hers. Mm-hmm. Because she, she has so many appointments with doctors mm-hmm. where she's got to get a, a COVID test. That we uh, that I now she goes and gets it, and if she, you know, if, if she hasn't got it, I don't have it. Well, if you have a procedure, they and they put you under, you have to have a COVID test. Right. Mm-hmm. right. Now they say they say that once you get your second shot, that you don't have to take a test. That's what my doctor said. He said, he said, don't bother getting another COVID test. You know, once you get your second shot, when you come back here, you don't have to do it. Right. In China, they're doing anal swabs instead of. <laughs> I thought it was the onion when I saw the article. I thought that was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> it does sound like the onion. Oh, Who was gonna? A, <laughs> well, they're having a hard time testing Republicans. They don't know which end to test. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it all looks the same. <laughs> oh boy, it's just, it's just a strange world we're living in now. You know, uh, I, I, you know, I, I, I've lived long enough to see this, uh, and it's all the science fiction I ever read, saw in movies, you know, and it is the last man on earth, you know, it is Vincent Price or Charlton Heston who later made the list, the next version of it, uh, and it's 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 just it's so apocalyptic it's ridiculous. Just Charlie, you got your hand up, or are you just yeah? Like, I, I just wanted to point out that California is only twenty three hundred deaths below Cal uh, below New York now. Below, how many? Oh, really? In the in yes, the, in California is the... over forty thousand dead now. New York just 000. opened up. We're in purple tier now, so you can go out to the restaurants again and haircut and all that. But, but what, only what outside. Was New York, no New York. What was New York's? What New York is forty three, I believe. Wasn't yeah, California is almost like March 41. and April. It's almost forty one, so it's getting. It, you're going to surpass. Uh, the California is going to surpass us. We're, we're Texas trying. is thirty seven thousand. Hey, Alex. Yeah. By the way, before we hang up, we got to wish Charlie happy birthday. It's coming up here in a couple of days. Isn't it? Uh, happy birthday! Uh, I got myself a bunch of new shirts for my birthday. <laughs> I'm, I'm retired. Was I'm retired. This is as dressed up as I get. I was just thinking that was <laughs> How old are you going to be, Charlie? 71. 71 hey, years old. Good for 71. Yeah. yeah. So, Youngster. Look at it this way. From here on in, you can just say, whenever anybody asks you how old you are, just say, 10 years younger than Alex Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. That's what tell- I've been telling them that for years. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Rubbing it in, huh? I go, like, oh, no. oh, I just, when I found out that you were 10 years older than me, I just, it was great. Well, the thing is, I wake up in the morning and I look at Marjorie and I think, my God, I'm waking up in bed with Don't old even lady. Men- and then I then 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 I suddenly start to think of what she's rolling over and looking at. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. Oh God, life. That's what it is, getting older, folks. What a life. What a life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Pam had to take and see her mother today, as usual, mm-hmm. which means she had to take a walk. She so take rough. How, how far is her mom? Oh, oh it's, uh, I would say it takes her 10 minutes, less than okay. 10 minutes. Walking. Okay. Yeah. Are the yeah. street, are the Sidewalks. Does she open? keep a social distance from her mother when she's there and wears a mask and stuff? No. No. Probably should. You know. They're inside, but it's you know. yeah. But you know, That's it's what happened with Tony. Tony, you know. Well, I know, but you know. nobody else goes there. It's yeah. all risk. Nobody. I mean, it's not a matter of your wife getting ill, but it just. It's just good practice because a lot of times you feel that, you know, you go into your home, your mother's home, it's got to be the safest place on the earth, right? No, it's not necessarily safe for her mother. If, for instance, Pam suddenly comes down with it or whatever, it's just oh, yeah. a matter that anybody that goes into a bubble should be very careful <laughs> and wear, you know, wear stuff and so on. 
Hey, listen, we're kind of running out of time here. This has been fun. I love this yeah. show. I just love it. It just makes me, it's the one thing I really look forward to every week. And it's because it's a group of really great people here. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk Next to you week, later. I'll tell you my favorite dad. Jackie, thank you so much, Andrew. Thank you, Mike Chisholm. Thank you. Thank you to Steve Bender. Thank you to Scott Boddicker, Len LaFrisco, Charlie Wallace. Jeffrey Stein, I'm going to run out of breath here. Vernon Nunn, <laughs> Brian Neary, Marjorie Miller, and the uh, lovely and attractive Mandy. <laughs> His last name Thank I don't you. remember because it just says Mandy. Her last iPhone. name is iPhone. It just says Mandy's iPhone. It's Mandy. 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 What is it, Mandy? Mandy is it O'Brien? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, I remember. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, as long as I can do things like that, I still haven't gone that far over the edge <laughs> anyway you want to bet <laughs> <laughs> this is what i'm married to and she says yeah. she loves me she's delightful and precious yeah. Don't well, ever let thank that. you mandy we'll be in touch mandy okay okay anyway <laughs> all of you thank you so much for joining me i appreciate it have a nice day everybody have a nice day oh, goodbye okay. to all stay of warm, you for watching us stay okay? warm all right um, we're i'm not going out